what is this? It's a 20 horsepower Craftsman, uh, you know, mower. And uh, this thing has been leaking like crazy. I mean, you can tell how dirty it is, but it's it's this thing. I mean, this this is a, uh, you know, it's uh, it's worthless. I mean, this is the first thing you need to remove on this thing. What I'm gonna do is I got a three eighths inch. Uh, MIP, three inches long, and probably I should have gotten a four inch to get to, to the edge. But I'm going to put this thing on, and I got a matching cap for it, three inch MIP cap right there. And I'm going to put some tape on it, and I'm going to stop this leak. And I'll bet you, and I've heard of some of these. Uh, plastic things here uh, all of a sudden you're riding around and your engine runs out of oil so this is a uh, ridiculous uh, it's it's a worthless uh, I don't know if you, you use them but uh, uh, as far as I'm concerned uh, this is not a good way to go um, you can't have this kind of stuff and I'm not gonna wait uh, for it to happen to me and all of a sudden uh, blow out the engine because it's got no oil uh, you're supposed to check it but it can happen at any time um, anyway I'm just gonna put that nipple on there and put some of this uh, tape on it and uh, solve this problem we hope now by the way this engine here takes uh, uh, a 10w30 uh, it's better 10w30 synthetic uh, you can use 10w30 for yeah, I don't know general country but and lower 5w30 for uh, colder weather but um, a 10w30 should be fine and on and better than that a 10w30 synthetic which will cover all uh, areas so anyway I'm gonna put that on and uh, refill it up with uh, two quarts of uh, 10W30 synthetic and go off and and hopefully not have this uh, ugly leak all over the place and put it in with your fingers because you don't want to, want to find out that it's the wrong size now I don't know if I can get a pipe wrench in there. I don't know. Let's see. If not, I'm going to have to use it. No, it's just not going to work. So we're going to get uh, one of these. And uh, I'm 75 years old, but I can still all do all this stuff. <laughs> well, maybe 75 years old nowadays is uh, is young. I'm gonna use both hands. Okay, there you go. And then I'll put this nice little cap on it. See, next time, well, first of all, uh, that thing was loose in the first place. And I, I think it was loose. And uh, next time, I can just put a little thing like this underneath there and just drain that oil straight out. Um, four inches, you know what? I should have gone four inches and that would have been right on the edge, perfect. But anyway, if you're going to do it, uh, go ahead and get a, a 3 8 inch, 4-inch uh, 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 nipple, and it'll be all the way up to here, and you'll have enough space in there to put the plug. Definitely another inch here, no problem. So I'm going to go ahead and put uh, 2 quarts of a 10W30, and we're off, and we're not going to have any more leaks. Uh, I think this thing was loose in the first place. They didn't put it on correctly. 
but again, I've also heard that um, there's always a problem with these things. Okay, now the filter for this is right there. It's a 12-0501. And I guess the S. Now this is supposedly the best uh, uh, motor oil to use on these uh, lawn mowers. It's a Mobile One high mileage uh, advanced full synthetic 10W30. Uh, so I mean I've been told and I've uh, gotten online and this is supposed to be the best. Now uh, 10W30 for lawn mowers uh, or lawn tractors is, is hard to find and this is the best alternative and apparently the best oil that you can add uh, the uh, specification is that uh, well you read the manual uh, but supposedly anything above SJ uh, should be uh, good for these engines uh, and this is a uh, you know this is uh, for automobiles but supposedly this is the very best it's full synthetic 